This is just a short to the point demonstration of a very serious Moodle security and privacy vulnerability that you need to be aware of. I've made an extended version of this with a lot of detail about the impact of this security and privacy vulnerability. That detailed version is on my site at educhalk.org. But I felt it important to get the basic information out to the public so that Moodle users know the vulnerabilities that exist on their site. This is a test site I've set up. It has over a hundred courses in it and over a thousand users. I have a teacher in this course called Brian Miller. I'm going to log in as that teacher. Let's enter my course. As you can see, it's a blank Moodle course. There's no content been added. I'm going to assign roles. These are the default roles a teacher has in a course. Let's go to student. We could go to any, but we'll choose student. And I'm going to enroll every user on this Moodle site in my course, 1,048. Any teacher on any Moodle site can do this. Now that I've enrolled every user on the site in my course, let's go back out to the course. I'm going to back it up. Back up with user data and click continue. Go through the other screens, continue and to click continue and you end up with a backed up course in your files folder. Let's download that zip file to my local computer. Now what I've just done is downloaded that backup from the Moodle server to my local computer. It's off the server. Now I own it on my machine. Minimize Moodle. Let's look at that backed up zip file on the local computer. I'm going to unzip it. Open the unzipped version. Right click on the Moodle XML document and open it with Microsoft Excel. Depending on the size of your site, it may take quite a while to open in Excel. If you can't open it, you can always import this into another Moodle site and open the database directly. Let's scroll to the right and find the columns username and password. In mine, it's DN and DO. Yours may be different. When you find that, scroll down until you start hitting users you're going to get to the point to where you'll see every user in your Moodle database. If you notice here I have username, password, first name, last name, email address, phone numbers, institution, physical mailing address, you name it. Essentially what I've just done as a teacher is downloaded the entire Moodle user database table. I have everything on every user on the site. Let's go down here to this admin. We recognize that. I'm going to copy the password out. That's an MD5 encryption. Look at the extended video for the significance of this. We'll go to a website. Go to one of a dozen MD5 cracker sites. Paste in that MD5 hash. Now I have the admin password. Copy the password. Go back to the site. I can log out now. Log in as admin paste in the password. Now I'm the administrator on the site. I've just logged in as a site administrator. Game over. Now I have access to everything on the site. If you want to see the full significance of this exploit, you need to go to my site, educhalk.org, and watch the extended version of the video.